my blog that I just wrote and so that you can in YouTube land uh, also read it. It The reason I even wrote it, so it's the silence and stillness, embracing the power of nothingness is because in my uh, pep talk subscription email I send out every week, I put three tips on how to be sane in chaos. Um, and one of the tips is get still and silent. So here's an article about that, about stillness and silence. So embracing the power of nothingness. So I'm just going to read it. So here we go. As a curious child, I stumbled upon the book of the dead, also known as Bardo, when I was just 13 years old. Growing up, my father had a habit of giving me multiple nicknames, leaving me uncertain of which one truly belonged to me. Although this childhood experience may initially appear unrelated, it surprisingly connected to the concept of nothingness. Before I left for college, my father bestowed upon me the nickname Bardo. While he was not aware of its meaning at all. I certainly was. Bardo is the Tibetan Buddhist term for the state of existence between death and rebirth. Interestingly, my given name, Rene, translates to rebirth or reborn in, in French. This nickname resonated deeply within me as it symbolized a profound transition and my purpose on this earth. So what does all of this have to do with nothingness? Well, I believe that Bardo, in a way, represents a form of nothingness. It exists in the lineal space before rebirth and after death, the threshold just before the creation of something new. With this personal connection in mind, we delve into the exploration of nothingness and its transformative power. Let us uncover the wonders that lie within the embrace of silence and stillness, drawing inspiration from my own journey and the stories of creation that highlight the significance of starting from nothing. Before we proceed, it's important to clarify that this article does not argue the for creationism or dispute the reality of evolution. Evolution is an established fact. Instead, our focus is to shed light on how the notion of nothingness or doing nothing can remarkably benefit us by tapping into a wellspring of inner knowledge. The, the ancients understood this and used language to elucidate concepts that may be difficult to explain without scientific terminology. So this is a quote, the Tibetan term bardo or intermediate state is not just a reference to the afterlife. It also refers more generally to these moments when gaps appear, interrupting the continu continuity that we otherwise project onto our lives. In American culture, we sometimes refer to this as having the rug pulled out from under us or feeling ungrounded. These in interruptions in our normal sense of certainty are what is being referred to by the term bardo. But to be precise, bardo refers to the state in which we have lost our old reality and it is no longer available to us. This is written by Perma Pema Kandro Rinpoche. In the beginning, it always seems to come down to doing nothing. Even in creation stories across cultures, life emerges from nothingness or ex nihilo. <laughs> I can't pronounce that in Latin. It's a concept that can be challenging for us to grasp, yet it holds tremendous power. Why? Because within nothingness lies the essence, the juice of life. In various creation mythologies, water is depicted as the source of life. In astrology, water symbolizes the repository of all memories. So when we sit in stillness, quietly connecting with the nothingness, we tap into the vast reservoir of memories held within our bodies, flowing in and out 
like the air we breathe. It's truly miraculous how we can access this inner depth, but it requires practice, skill, and a trust that can sometimes evolve into something greater. Faith. Yes, I said faith. I used to dislike this word for most of my life until 2017 when I finally comprehended its meaning. Faith transcends mere trust. It embodies a belief in the mystical and the unknown. It acknowledges that something extraordinary can emerge from what we perceive as nothing. Give it a try for a while. And even if your wildest dreams don't materialize, rest assured that scientists have discovered the miracle, um, remarkable effects it has on your brain and overall well-being. Embracing silence and stillness aids us in profound ways, regardless of specific outcomes we anticipate. So take a moment each day to be still, to embrace the silence, tap into the power of nothingness, and unlock the transformative potential within. It may seem unconventional, but the rewards are undeniable, both for your mind and your health. If you need help or support in finding your authentic self, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I offer workshops and one-to-one -one coaching to help seekers on their journey. For free resources to help you tap into your authentic voice, sign up by going to reneebior.com slash free dash resources. Thank you so much. Have a great day.